She leaps and twirls all without missing a note. That's something I love myself as a performer is freedom of movement when I play. Celtic violinist Mairead Nesbitt has toured the globe and now this famed fiddler from Ireland calls New Hampshire home. I'm so delighted to be here in New Hampshire because it reminds me so much of Ireland. It's like Ireland on a good day. It's so beautiful. The, the mountains, the lakes, the trees. It really is like Ireland on, on quite a grand scale. Mairead took to the stage in her new home state, charming the crowd at the Buzz Ball. She's seen the world performing first with Lord of the Dance and then as a founding member of Celtic Woman. Every album has been number one on the Billboard World Music Charts and um, then my, my last album that I did with them was Destiny and that was nominated for the Grammy. The New York Times once called her a demon of a fiddle player, a title she embraces with pride. I take that as a huge compliment. I think what they meant, well, what I took from it, <laughs> is um, that I think it might have been my movement and, and also the way I play. Like when I hone in on something, I'll, I'll really try and grasp it. There's a word in Ireland called a, a dervish and a dervish is a twirling spirit, you know? And I think maybe, maybe it was a little bit of that too. she's able to dance and play is a real wonder. She's often asked, how do you not get your hair caught in the strings? And yes, it does get caught sometimes, but you know, um, I think for me again, movement is an extension of the music. Mairead has played at the White House and entertained four presidents. Her parents, both music educators, instilled a love of music in their children. We grew up breathing music, really. Both she and her sister were named All-Ireland Fiddle Champions at a young age. Playing music with them all the time was just the most fantastic upbringing, really. Her family, which has recorded an album together in the Irish cottage where she grew up, is filled with accomplished musicians. It's a great resource for me, actually. Oh, will you play on that album? Can you play with me in such and such thing? Can you arrange this for me? Can you do this for me? Mairead has even appeared on The Great White Way. You were on Broadway. Yes, Broadway was such uh, it was such an experience, really, really fantastic. I was on Broadway with a spectacular rock show called Rocktopia. And it's easily the hardest thing I had to play. That's the first thing I'll say. But Broadway itself for nine weeks was absolutely incredible. Throughout the years, she's collaborated with some well-known musicians. Van Morrison, uh, Sinead O'Connor, then over here in the States, I've played with um, a lot of musicians here like Pat Monahan of Train and even Dee Snyder, who is uh, Twisted Sister. But this particular violin is over 300 years old. It's actually 314 years old. Are you serious? Yes. As a kid for pocket money, I used to warm up fiddles for this violin dealer. And I'd have to give it back after two months after, after you know, opening up the sound. And he said, keep this, you can keep it. So I've had this since I was 14. Now Mairead has her own line of violins and bows. I've always wanted my name in a bow, Erin, you know. I'll have to bring you one. 
<laughs> now I need we'll, to. We'll go with your. I'm going to need a dress. I need a lesson. You I need you a do. lesson you first. Do. <laughs> well, I do Skype lessons as well. So yes, absolutely. <laughs> Playing professionally since she was a wee lass, Mairead has not only mastered the traditional jigs and reels, but she's also an accomplished classical musician. This talent from the Emerald Isle bringing the songs of her homeland to her new neighbors here in the Granite State. And I think with Irish music the world over, it doesn't really matter what background you're from. It doesn't matter what genre you're in. Everybody loves a beautiful Irish melody. Everybody does. And they don't know why they love it. They just do.